I want to talk about the power of passion, the power of purpose, the power of hunger because of a story that I read this morning that impacted my heart so much. Welcome to the Dean Graziosi Show. All success starts right here. So many times in life, we think if we hear it once, we got it, move on to the next. How many times do you have to go to the gym to get in shape? Can you go over a weekend and be in shape for the rest of your life? No. How many times do you have to hear success rules, habits, foundational skills? All the time. How often do you have to practice it? All the time. You know, I, I remember when Tony Robbins first got me to give him a money, give him, you know, cut a check for speed. I got his course. And then he introduced me to, he had these things called power talk where each month I would get a new DVD. That's how long ago it was, uh, or CD. And it would be someone like a Wayne Dyer or Eckhart Tolle or Deepak Chopra or, or, or jo coach John Wooden. And I got all these people. I got to learn self-education from personal growth, from success skills. Oh my God, transform my life. Well, some things never change. I just saw that he did an interview with Martin Rothblatt. And I knew who Martine was. In fact, I think I met her really quick. She is the uh, creator and founder of Sirius Radio. Right now, here's the other thing about Martine. Martine used to be Martin. Now think about that. That's a whole nother story of having to deal with a gender change in today's world where people aren't just, they don't really know yet, right? It's just new. Um, so I can't even imagine that road. He, married for 33 years, seems like the most amazing couple. But I'm sharing this for a reason. Because I, I want to remind you of the power of purpose, the power of passion, the power of hunger to accomplish something, how that can overcome any obstacle that's in your way. If you don't have enough purpose, if you don't have enough hunger, the first obstacle will stop you. You'll say, I tried, but. But what if there was no but? There was just an answer. There was just a solution no matter what. So why do I tell you this? So Martine has incredible amounts of accomplishments in her life and things that she's overcome and success, serious radio. I mean, come on, satellites in the air so we could have radio. I mean, you know that. But when her daughter was nine years old, when everything was flying high and serious radio was crushing and, and relationship was great, Martine takes his nine -year, her, her nine-year-old daughter to the hospital to find out, and I wrote this down, she has pulmonary arterial hypertension a lung disorder that's fatal. No one's ever lived for, from it ever. And Martin just didn't want to accept that. But wherever he went, every doctor said there's nothing. So what does he do? He raises funds, uses his own money, and starts trying to do research to find a cure. The doctors and the scientists that he hires says, I think we can find a cure, Martin, but not in time to save your daughter. I'm sorry. So he still doesn't give up. So they tell him that. And he's like, that's not enough. So he searches every pharmaceutical company, finds that one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world has a pill that may, or, or an ingredient, a, pro, a process, a pill, you know, a, a patent on something that could help slow it down. So he goes there and he's a, he's a serious radio. He's a, uh, you know, he's got satellite company. They don't want to sell it to him. And they said, no, it's not even in final stages. Just it's preliminary approval. We're not selling it. They tell him no a second time. They tell him no a third time. And the third time they say, absolutely not. We're not selling this. But he had purpose. He had passion. He had hunger. I, I can't even imagine. I'm a dad. I, I can't imagine what that feeling is. But I got goosebumps today when he, after a third time, he still wouldn't accept no because his hunger was so strong. His purpose was so driven that he convinced them after the fourth, fifth or sixth time to sell them, sell them the patent for 25,000 bucks. And he said he got a little pile of powder and a, a, you know, like a breakdown of what was in it. That was it. It wasn't pills. He thought he was having a pill for his daughter. So he really had to start from there because it wasn't ready to give to people. He went to his scientists, his doctors, they said, no, this will never be a pill. It won't work. It won't process it. All these technical terms. He said, unacceptable, unacceptable. We're going to find how to make this work. And through perseverance, through purpose, through passion, through hunger, figured out how to make it into a pill, figured out how to make it where a human could actually take it. I'd like to report his daughter's 33 years old. Over 35,000 people in the world have not lost their life because of Martine and his obsession and his passion and his purpose. And here's the craziest part. He got to save his daughter. And you know how much that drug did in sales last year alone? $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion. 
dollars while simultaneously saving his daughter's life and so many others. Now, were there a million obstacles in between that? Of course. And you sometimes you fail and you don't get the prize like that. Of course. But he was so purpose-driven, so passion-driven, so hungry for the solution. He did not hear no. He didn't hear the people say, no, it's not going to work. There's no cure. Your daughter's unfortunately going to die. We're not going to sell it to you. We can't do it. That was nothing to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times are you going to say no before we finally get to the yes? Now, what if we can just rob a glimpse of that passion? Listen, I don't want to compare your business to a child facing a life-threatening disease, but what if we can have 10% of that passion, 10% of that purpose-driven life, 10% of that hunger to pull your life in the direction you want to go? Listen, at the end of our life, at 100 years old, you're going to look back and wish you had a piece of it, that you went after it. You stopped dabbling, you stopped thinking, and you went after your full potential, your next level. We all deserve it. We all desire it. We all crave it. I'm just asking you right now, who, who are you? I'm just asking you right now, are you ready to go for it? Because I have to tell you, I've been on both sides, struggle, worry, and I know what they both feel. I know what it feels like, but I've been on the other side where things all seem to go right where I'm living in my passion. I'm living on purpose. I'm hungry for achieving more. And I have to tell you, it's absolutely worth it. Not kind of worth it, absolutely worth it. Life's gonna be hard no matter what we do. We might as well go after what we really want. And that's why I hope you join me week after week here at the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast where I could just give you a little habit, a little inspiration, a little success tip that points your ship in the right direction towards the life you crave and absolutely the life you deserve. What's up? What's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.